Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Kaya and her mate Courage as they bring their puppies the last little bit of the way to the summer hunting grounds. And hopefully nothing goes catastrophically wrong in these last few minutes here. <laughs> um, but it's not out of the question. So far we still have all four puppies and if one of them does die, Kaya does still have the ability to save them. But hopefully we'll, we'll be as lucky as we were last time and not even have to worry about it. Um, I, I'm just hoping. <laughs> because sometimes we do get lucky like that. But it seems the pretty easy years are most often the years when it's not actually all that easy. <laughs> so, and yeah, I am recording a little later today. Sorry about that. Um, I, ha I had some stuff going on today in my normal recording time. So videos are just going to be a little bit late. And we won't do all of our series today. We're probably just going to have Niche and Wolf Quest today. Tomorrow we will be back to our normal schedule. And we'll have Shelter 2 and all of our other normal series. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's about what's going on. And this will probably be a very, very, very short episode of Wolf Quest because we are almost there. We are just a little ways from the summer hunting grounds. And oh my goodness, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to make it. <laughs> so far, so good. But, you know, knock on wood, things could still go catastrophically wrong. Uh, let's just make sure I'm going to eat some food he while we're here and make sure we are full. And there we go. Let's just make sure... And don't forget, you guys, you can still submit ideas for uh, Season 3 challenges. Um, we won't be introducing any annual challenge, annual being per litter, uh, because it is one year between litters. We should give Midnight a little more. And um, an annual challenge is basically something that affects only one litter of puppies. So in addition to our uh, regular challenges, which we have per wolf, such as Kaya's having to be at the Aspen Heights Den, or... Um, something or or like um apollo had to um apollo had to be at the bison peak cutoff den or um there are other challenges such as having to kill um bull elk or moose before raising puppies different challenges instead of each wolf's challenge we'll still be having those but in addition to that we'll be having an annual challenge which could be one of the dens has flooded due to uh, due to unnatural amounts of rain, un unusual amounts of rain, and if that is the case, maybe we'd have to go to a different den this next year, or maybe one of the river crossings is no longer uh, usable for some reason, or the elk have migrated and we can't hunt during certain times of the year. Uh, various different things like that. What did I just hear? I think I just heard... I think I'm just hearing dramatic music. <laughs> I should turn my volume up because the music does give indications of what's happening sometimes. There we go. I think we're okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me changing the volume, but if, if you can, I do apologize for that. <laughs> um, but I do need to be able to hear my music just to make sure that we don't have sudden coyote music that could warn of danger. And that was our last carcass, so we... Um, we do need to get up here, but I can see it. I can see it through the trees. It's just past those, um, I think those would be aspen trees. The lighter colored ones that are uh, deciduous. Deciduous trees are ones that shed their leaves in the fall. Coniferous ones are like pine trees that keep them and that they have their needles all through the winter. Well, that's the difference between types of trees. <laughs> so whatever those deciduous trees are, I'm going to guess they're aspen trees, but they might also be birch. I don't know. I'm not that good at identifying plants. <laughs> so um, whatever those trees are, we're just going to head straight for them. And hopefully all continues to go as planned. And if so, we will be continuing in next time with Kaya's third litter and things will start to get a little bit trickier because we will be playing on arduous and that we it'll be kind of a jump because um and it's meant to represent Kaya's aging and I will try to get a timeline put together because um it's getting more complicated especially with the streams and side stories that we've had um it's getting a little bit more complicated and hard to keep track of things so I'll try and get a timeline put together so you guys kind of know um what's going on with each wolf and what is happening. I'll probably just have like a... It'll probably actually be a spreadsheet of some kind. Like an Excel document, if you're um, familiar with those. Did I? Oh, I just see um, that was Puppy once. Oh, he's bringing Nakora to us. Oh, good. Okay. And we actually do have all four puppies are girls this time. So they had an all-female litter. <laughs> and um, 
it was supposed to be pretty easy, but it actually wasn't all the time. It, the difficulty remained on pretty easy, but we did have some crazy incidences like that cougar that came just rushing in and almost caused chaos. Well, it did cause chaos, but almost caused Zona to die. Um, Zona, if she does survive this, um, hopefully if we can get her the last few feet up to the summer hunting grounds, we'll probably have a side story with Navi just because it fits. Navi is one of Kyrian's daughters who we almost lost to a coyote and who was also rather notorious for causing a little bit of chaos when it came to a cougar. Now, you know, they don't mean to. They're just puppies. They don't know any better, but, <laughs> you know, some wolves seem to be a little bit more of a magnet for trouble. It's, it's really not their fault, <laughs> but sometimes they just just do have a little bit more of a natural proneness for, for getting into trouble accidentally. I feel like Zona just kind of bumbles into things like, Mommy, what's this? What's this big cat thing? Why is it growling at you? <laughs> well, Ka whilst Kaya is freaking out and, <laughs> um, you know, they don't mean it. They're just curious little puppies, but <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, everyone is here. Kaya's here. Courage is here. And who do we have first? We have... Here we go, puppies, puppies. Midnight, Willow, Zona, and Nakora, and we did it. Courage, what were you doing? <laughs> and we did it. They are all here and they are all safe. Uh, so, so far, Kaya has had great success. Kaya and Courage have both had great success, just like their parents, or well, just like Kaya's parents did. I don't know about Courage's family. We actually don't know his family. So, uh, they have so far managed to get two litters of puppies safely to the summer hunting grounds without losing any of them. But things are about to get harder because Kaya and Courage aren't quite as young as they used to be. And they're getting a little bit older. It's getting a little bit harder for them to do the things they do. And so next time we will be playing on Arduous. And with the trouble we had with this litter and the chaos we've had with Myra's litter, I'm more than a little bit concerned. We'll have to see what goes on, though, because um, it could be we're about to witness our first success or first total success story where all four puppies and all four litters make it safely to summer hunting grounds, or it could totally go up in flames and we could lose all of our puppies. Anything can happen. We really just don't know. Every game comes with its own level of randomness. And that will continue to increase as we implement more challenges, as we start to implement annual challenges. It's going to get even harder. And that'll help keep the series interesting. I mean, it's always good to have a little bit of drama in it. So uh, we'll probably have a little bit of an extra long episode with Myra, depending on how her episode goes, because this one is so short. We're maybe going to hit 10 minutes, maybe. So <laughs> with this one, uh, not even quite so i will see you guys in that episode and next time we will be following kaya and courage as they begin their third litter so i will see you guys then but until then this is jay over and out